Well, Stephen, first things first, welcome to Spennymoor Town. How pleased are you to be in this role and excited for the future? I'm delighted. Um, it's a real honour to be here at the brewery field um, and to take over as partnerships manager for a company such as Procure Smart is. Um, is, it bodes really well for the future, I think. Um, I'm delighted to be here. Um, I think we can really support um, things locally, support the team, support the supporters fully, um, and bring in some great local business that can only help us uh, move forward in the future. Obviously, you're getting your feet under the table now, but what's what's in your inbox? What are the priorities right now, straight away? Yeah, it's been uh, it's such a bit of a whirlwind, to be truthful, um, from the 1st of August till now. Um, we have hit the ground running. Um, fundamentally looking to really focus on our, um, our, our key partners, our key sponsors, um, making sure that we look after them properly here um, and really start to reach out to people who might not have known what goes on here at the football club. It is full of potential um, and I'm convinced that uh, this role will really help uh, to deliver that. Yeah, you mentioned all the things that are going on because it isn't just three, three o'clock or five o'clock on a Saturday, is it? There's lots of exciting things going on across a breadth of things on the club. It was a real eye opener to spend a couple of weeks seeing what goes on here at the club. The work that moves in the community does is extraordinary, and I'm sure we will continue to grow. It was wonderful to come down and witness the ladies' team returning home to the brewery field, seeing how that felt. Um, and, and I think we had over 200 here for a pre-season friendly, which is fantastic. And of course, Saturday, which was a great start of the season, uh, couldn't have gone better really. Um, and to see the smiling faces of everybody going home after that result really bodes well and allows us to build a platform um, around that, um, that, that that hopefully can continue to grow. And in terms of the things that you're going to be getting your teeth into and, and you know and trying to trying to progress what, what what sort of things can we expect to see develop? Yeah fundamentally it's about partnership working um, and that doesn't matter whether that's through our support through community groups whether that's through our support through our fantastic sponsor base that we already have but also thinking about how we bring these people together so where can one benefit the other um, so where we may have had traditional sponsors who are brilliant support for the club do they really en enjoy know what else is going on around the club particularly out there in the community um, there's massive opportunity for bringing people together to, to really drive this project forward um, and I believe the journey is just beginning. You mentioned at the start there you, you know Procure Smart and your role is going to sort of go between the football club and Procure Smart. Tell us a little bit about how that's going to work. Yeah so Procure Smart fundamentally are a, a, a key partner for the football club now and at Procure Smart what we're about is business solutions. We're about helping uh, local businesses develop, grow and do that alongside uh, what we have here at the football club. So everything from uh, resources such as utilities, right through to HR, right through to basically from grassroots, right through big or small, Procure Smart will be there to support them. Yeah, and in terms of Procure Smart, how can our supporters, the club's fans, you know, everyone who comes through the turnstiles, how can they support that connection? I think they'll see a lot more of it coming up and we'll see a lot more new branding around the, what Procure Smart does, a lot more information going out. Um, I think on Saturday we started to put out uh, adverts on the screens where people can, can sort of see what services can be delivered by Procure Smart. We'll have some events coming up which I'm sure people will, uh, will find out a lot more information around um, and I think uh, my, my desk's always open at the minute, the inbox is full but I'm sure it'll get fuller um, and I'll be based here uh, fundamentally at the football club which means uh, people can get in touch and, and we can work from there. Because it is a real community field, isn't it? The club is a, 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 a right at the heart of the community. Everyone who comes through these gates, you know, can have a part to play and, and, and can feel part of this journey we're on. Most definitely. Um, Spenimo has grown. It's thriving. The numbers are going up. The people that live here are going up. The businesses that are coming here. Um, I think there's a real uh, vision now coming from Spenimo and, and the football club is fundamental to that. And Procure Smart as a business is hopefully the, the vehicle that can help that grow and happen. Um, we see it now on the field, we see it with the success of the teams, we see it with the, the massive youth programme that we've got going out there and bringing, I think that the key to it all is bringing everybody together around this um, and fundamentally the, the Spending Road Town Football Club alongside Procure Smart is key to it. You've obviously known Ian a, a number of years as well, how much are you looking forward to that partnership and, and, and you know working alongside him to drive things forward? Yeah, I've known him for, for quite a while now um, and he was really very passionate about getting us involved here and when I spoke to the owner I was sort of left in no uncertain terms about where I thought we could head to. <laughs> um, I'm really looking forward to that, um, we've got real opportunity, um, I also think that with that is we need the backing of the people. Um, and I think Ian's done an exceptional job in a couple of years here now to start to move things forward. Our next job is to continue that journey, to really start to think about where this club could be and the people who are associated, associated with it um, in five, in ten years' time. Um, we hate to make a lasting legacy um, alongside all of the organisations that really do a wonderful job of supporting the club. Um, and mine and Ian's job is to continue to build on that.